Hello students, welcome to EPG Patashala. I am Dr. G.P. Jayanti, Research Director from Avinash Lingam Institute for Home Science and Higher Education, Coimbatore. Students, today we are going to see what are novel protein foods. Novel protein foods, abbreviated as NPFs, are types of foods based on vegetable protein and microorganisms. They form grain free diet or have single carbohydrate source. They are also referred as protein foods with limited ingredients and also as hypoallergic diet. Commercially available vegetarian alternatives of protein based novel foods in the market include seitan, tofu, soy meat, tempeh, quinoa and meatless lupins. These novel protein foods are used as main foods or food ingredients. They are the products of proteins being developed from new and unconventional sources. They also include textured vegetable protein and protein products based on microorganisms. This is widely explained by Food Standards Committee's report. These are derived mainly from proteins by high pressure processing technology that improves the quality of protein foods. There is always a great demand worldwide for protein foods. Also it is a great problem to produce sustainable, nutritious and tasty protein food. Quinoa is an ancient grain that has originated in South America. It is a protein of very good quality. It does not produce allergic action. It has a very rich indigenous tradition value. Currently, it is also grown in Europe in large scale. This high quality protein is very useful for sports persons and pure vegetarians who do not consume non-vegetarian proteins, growing children, elderly people and for patients. The novel protein foods are best suited for pet animals. Some pets have skin or gastrointestinal issues with certain food, pet foods. In the case of allergic conditions, the pet animal's immune system may mistake a food ingredient for something harmful and may react against it. This may result in skin rashes, excessive itching, scratching, or licking and hot spots. Substitution of pet diet by novel protein foods may help in the treatment of such conditions. Two important effects namely food sensitivities or intolerances noticed in pet animals may be due to the inability of the pet's digestive system to digest the food. This may be due to certain ingredients in the food, the quality of those ingredients or the mode of the food is processed and gastrointestinal symptoms such as gas, vomiting and diarrhea are common symptoms of food sensitivities. Some important novel protein sources are venison, duck, ducks and kangaroos and rabbit. An important feature of novel protein foods is the limited ingredients in the composition. For example, a food labeled as duck formula will have only duck ingredients and not even a small portion of chicken or any other animal source. Some pet diets serve as therapeutic diets for allergic conditions. They may give immediate relief from symptoms of allergy. Many veterinary diets are processed differently compared to the commercially available diets over the counters. They contain hydrolyzed proteins which will help in bypassing the allergic or gastrointestinal responses that the pet animal may encounter. Safety of novel protein sources namely insects, microalgae, seaweed, duckweed and rapeseed and legislative aspects for their application in food and feed production need to be paid attention to. The potential hazards in using novel protein foods may include a range of contaminants like heavy metals, pesticide residues, mycotoxins as well as pathogens. Certain safety aspects of novel protein sources 
may be related to the source of food which is referred as intrinsic cause. But there are many potential hazards which may be due to the processing methods and production technology. These aspects must be considered as early as the product development. The European countries only introduced such novel protein foods in the very beginning but they themselves are not clear on several issues regarding the use of novel protein sources in food and feed products. There is a great confusion as to whether protein foods derived from insects can be considered as novel foods and whether they can be marketed without considering them as contaminant foods. European legislation is still involved in clarifying in this regard. Students, today we are going to see what are novel protein foods. Novel protein foods abbreviated as NPFs are types of foods based on vegetable protein and microorganisms. They form grain free diet or have single carbohydrate source. They are also referred as protein foods with limited ingredients and also as hypoallergic diet. Commercially available vegetarian alternatives of protein based novel foods in the market include seitan, tofu, soy meat, tempeh, quinoa and meatless lupins. These novel protein foods are used as main foods or food ingredients. They are the products of proteins being developed from new and unconventional sources. They also include textured vegetable protein and protein products based on microorganisms. This is widely explained by Food Standards Committee's report. These are derived mainly from proteins by high pressure processing technology that improves the quality of protein foods. There is always a great demand worldwide for protein foods. Also it is a great problem to produce sustainable, nutritious and tasty protein food. Quinoa is an ancient grain that has originated in South America. It is a protein of very good quality. It does not produce allergic action. It has a very rich indigenous tradition value. Currently, it is also grown in Europe in large scale. This high quality protein is very useful for sports persons and pure vegetarians who do not consume non-vegetarian proteins, growing children, elderly people and for patients. The novel protein foods are best suited for pet animals. Some pets have skin or gastrointestinal issues with certain pet foods. In the case of allergic conditions, the pet animal's immune system may mistake a food ingredient for something harmful and may react against it. This may result in skin rashes, excessive itching, scratching or licking and hot spots. Substitution of pet diet by novel protein foods may help in the treatment of such conditions. Two important effects namely food sensitivities or intolerances noticed in pet animals may be due to the inability of the pet's digestive system to digest the food. This may be due to certain ingredients in the food, the quality of those ingredients or the mode of the food is processed and gastrointestinal symptoms such as gas, vomiting and diarrhea are common symptoms of food sensitivities. Some important novel protein sources are venison, ducks and kangaroos and rabbit. An important feature of novel protein foods is the limited ingredients in the composition. For example, a food labeled as duck formula will have only duck ingredients and not even a small portion of chicken or any other animal source. Some pet diets serve as therapeutic diets for allergic conditions. They may give immediate relief from symptoms of allergy. 
Many veterinary diets are processed differently compared to the commercially available diets over the counters. They contain hydrolyzed proteins which will help in bypassing the allergic or gastrointestinal responses that the pet animal may encounter. Safety of novel protein sources namely insects, microalgae, seaweed, duckweed and rapeseed and legislative aspects for their application in food and feed production need to be paid attention to. The potential hazards in using novel protein foods may include a range of contaminants like heavy metals, pesticide residues, mycotoxins as well as pathogens. Certain safety aspects of novel protein sources may be related to the source of food which is referred as intrinsic costs. But there are many potential hazards which may be due to the processing methods and production technology. These aspects must be considered as early as the product development. The European countries only introduced such novel protein foods in the very beginning but they themselves are not clear on several issues regarding the use of novel protein sources in food and feed products. There is a great confusion as to whether protein foods derived from insects can be considered as novel foods and whether they can be marketed without considering them as contaminant foods. European legislation is still involved in clarifying in this regard. Coming to the story of animal proteins, the Kyoto Protocol on the Global Climate had led the European Union formulate agreements with the aim of reducing greenhouse gas emissions. The main sources for these gas emissions were found to be cattle breeding and related meat consumption. For many years, the global consumption of animal proteins was found to increase continuously. During 1950 to 2000, the global human population increased from 2.7 to 6 billion people. During this period, meat production, however, increased from 45 to 233 billion kg per year. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations reports that in the year 2015 the world population will be 9 billion and overall meat production will be 410 billion kg per year. Animal derived protein will be nearly 40% of humanity's total protein consumption. FAO experts the substantial increase by 2050 if the trend goes on uninterrupted. Many global scenarios such as the high requirement for animal products in China and India demands the use of animal proteins in a more serious way than the current situation. The production of animal proteins does not take place very efficiently. Depending on the animal species and the conditions, 2 to 15 kg plant material is needed to produce 1 kg of animal products. About 40 to 50 percent of the grain harvest in the universe is made use of for feed production. People should consume less beef and increased pork or chicken, minimize their portions or alter the meat portion in the diet by some substitutions such as legumes or eggs. Other studies also suggested that reduction of both meat consumption and production will reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Novel protein sources namely insects, algae, duckweed and rapeseed are expected to enter the European feed and food market. The Dutch Ministry of Economic Affairs has commenced research in protein innovations with various possibilities of producing modified production of animal proteins, 
development of new plant protein products and biorefinery and valorization of protein rich waste streams. At present, research on novel proteins is done on the functions, processing and industrial utility of these novel proteins. But food safety measures of these novel proteins have to be studied in depth. Especially use of waste streams is likely to introduce multiple food safety hazards. The presence of contaminants, anti-nutritional factors, allergens and accumulation and modification of protein matrices during processing can have alarming effects on public health. Now let us see more details about the novel proteins. Major animal protein sources for human consumption include meat, fish, milk and eggs. New strategies are formed in the production of animal protein sources. The raw materials used were chosen from cheaper sources. They have increased health values. Alternate efficient production methods were attempted. Targeting these, novel protein sources are being made use of. Waste streams of processing are followed and byproducts of biofuel production are tried. It is not clear, even in European law, whether insects derived proteins can replace proteins derived from animals and the maximum permissible limits of the contaminants in European legislature are yet to be fixed. But the European side is very keen on reducing the greenhouse emission as the major cause for cattle breeding and related meat consumption during the novel protein food preparation. Production of animal proteins is not very efficient. Depending on the animal species and the conditions, from 2 to 15 kg plant material, 1 kg of animal products are produced. Currently 40 to 50 percent of the world grain harvest is used for feed production. In order to reduce the use of area and energy, people should consume less beef and more pork or chicken. They should also consume small quantities or change the meat portion in the diet by meat substitutes such as legumes or eggs. The next discussion is on the safety of novel protein food sources like insects, microalgae, seaweed, duckweed and rapeseed and legislative aspects of novel protein foods. Apart from the European regulations, the Dutch Ministry of Economic Affairs has proposed agenda on protein innovations that includes various alternatives to make current production and consumption of proteins more sustainable by altering the production of animal proteins, development of new protein products and biorefinery and valorization of protein rich waste waters. The legal aspects about the use of waste streams, allergens, contaminants, anti-nutritional factors and accumulation and modification of substances in protein matrices during processing are devised. First in the list we are going to see about the insects. Insects consist of many species. Potential insects used in the preparation of foods in European countries include Gryloduce gileitis and Echita domestics, they are referred as the crickets. Alphi tobias, diapirinus, lesser mealworm, and tenebria molitor, yellow mealworm, hermetia illusens, black soldier fly, larvae of musca domestica, the common house fly. While rearing the insects, a metamorphosis occurs from egg via larva and pupa to mature adult. The changing path varies based on the subspecies. The feed used for these insects include chicken feed, vegetables and waste streams. Whole insects can be eaten without cooking, dried, crushed, textured, 
pulverized or ground or they are heated boiled fried roasted toasted extruded and canned or preserved by freeze drying or cryo vacuuming after degutting or fasting sometimes insect proteins can also be isolated by extraction before use in food products there are some insects which are considered as edible only in some regions some insects may prove to be unhealthy if they feed on certain plants or come from a polluted or pesticide treated region some may be harmless for some people but not for others as they may have allergens and they some may require special capture preparation storage or transportation methods to render and keep them safe it was established for many years that insects harvested for human consumption do not cause any significant health problems this has been proved with the silk worm by a series of acute and sub acute toxicological tests silk worm protein up to a maximum dose of 1.5 g per kg body weight per day in rats was found to be safe consumption of processed airy products obtained from airy silk moths was found to be unsafe as they contained toxic chemical substances hydrocyanic acid heavy metals like lead mercury and cadmium arsenic benzoic acid and sorbic acid the thai community product standard has defined the safety levels for these foods in 2011 the us food and drug administration has prescribed permissible levels of contamination of food with insect debris people regularly consume small amounts of insects unconsciously however no serious complications have been observed except a few people who react allergically in 2010 the codex alimentarium commission opined more in depth research on the food safety of edible insects these insects are considered as traditional foods of indigenous populations and rarely recognized as tradable food items cac says that insects are rich in nutrients they serve as a medium for the growth of microbes in some conditions especially making uncooked insects susceptible to microbiological contamination unless proper heat treatment or storage conditions are applied some people may develop allergies against certain species of insects some insects may require other treatments before they are made edible insect proteins may display a cross allergenicity with shrimps and house dust mites researchers had proved that the larvae of insects consume and accumulate heavy metals such as cadmium copper lead and zinc from soils and some species have low quantities of cyanogenic glucosides that may present potential hazards of insects for food and feed application toxic chemicals are observed in systems in two ways there may be autonomous production as defensive secretions that may be reactive irritating or toxic these toxic chemicals include carboxylic acids alcohols aldehydes ketones esters lactones phenols 1,4 quinones hydrocarbons alkaloids and steroids another way is through entry into the plants from soil and later taken by insects and other external food sources phytochemicals produced by various insects include phenolics flavin tannins terpenoids polyacetylenes alkaloids cyanogens glucoisonates and mimetic amino acids 
some insects may contain chemicals in concentrations higher than acceptable levels of food consumption. For example, arsenic was stored in bogong moth through agricultural sprays such as the herbicide monosodium methyl arsenate and selenium was accumulated in tea molitor. Food processing can also introduce toxic molecules which may also be introduced by chemical reactions of substrates of insects and other ingredients like heterocyclic aromatic amines, acrylamide, chloropropanols and furans. Next is algae. Algae belong to a large and diverse group of organisms. They make use of photosynthesis which does not belong to the group of terrestrial plants. Algae can be microalgae and seaweed. Microalgae are single celled organisms that can flourish over a wide spectrum of environmental conditions whereas seaweeds are complex multicellular organisms thriving in salt water or in marine environment. About 2% of 4000 varieties of algae are able to produce neurotoxins and hepatotoxins. These toxins get accumulated in shellfish, crustaceans and fish. They cause diseases like poisoning due to paralytic shellfish, saxitoxin, diuretic shellfish, neurotoxic shellfish, brevetoxic cicatus fish and also amnesic shellfish and microcystine. Nearly 30% of the current worldwide algal production is sold as animal feed. Algae are permitted in several countries as chicken feed. We shall now pass on to microalgae. Several microalgae like chlorella, tetracellensis, spirulina, nanochloropsis, nitschia, navicula and senedesmus, hematococcus and cryptocodinium are used as feed for both terrestrial and aquatic animals. Microalgae used for human consumption are arthrospira that is spirulina namely cyanobacteria and chlorella species Duna lila salina and Afanisomenon flo aqua. The green algae chlorophysia, chlorella vulgaris and Duna lila salina and also the cyanobacteria spirulina maxima are widely marketed and used mainly as nutritional supplements for humans and as animal feed additives. Algae may sometimes act as allergens, toxins, pathogens because of contamination by heavy metals and pesticides. In Afanisomenon flo aqua, toxic microcystine were found. Afanisomenon flos aqua, spirulina and chlorella or mixtures thereof were found to be cytotoxic. Spirulina and chlorella are cultivated in open basins which may result in microbiological contamination from birds, insects and rodents. Algae may accumulate heavy metals. They are at the bottom of the aquatic food chain pyramid. Therefore, they are the most important vector for passing the pollution to upper levels of the trophic chain in aquatic environment. Sludge grown algae contain considerable amount of heavy metals that may impose adverse effects to higher trophic organisms spirulina accumulates more heavy metals than chlorella. The pesticide phenamiphos and its metabolites can be transformed and accumulated by certain algae. Therefore, contamination of natural environments may have undesirable impacts on the food chain and associated biota. Next is seaweed. Many seaweed species are used for direct consumption. 
So far seaweed proteins have not been extracted for human consumption. Iodine, anti-nutritional factors, radioactive isotopes, ammonium, dioxins, heavy metals and pesticides have been identified as contaminants in seaweeds. In laminaria, a high levels of uh, iodine were noticed. A large variety of seaweed species, red, green and brown, possess anti-nutritional factors such as low levels of lectins, phytic acid, tannins and high levels of trypsin inhibitors and amylase inhibitions. Other contaminants found in seaweeds are dioxins and pesticides. Seaweeds are also contaminated by polychlorinated dibenzoparadioxins and polychlorinated dibenzofurans of industrial origin. Certain other pesticides are also present in seaweeds. Now we shall pass on to another type of uh, the novel protein, duckweed. Duckweed species are small floating aquatic plants. They are monocotyledons and belong to the botanical family Lemnaceae. Duckweeds are used as animal feed and as feed for fish like carp and tilapia. Duckweeds can be used as a source of phosphorus and nitrogen. It is being used as a human food resource in South Asia. The duckweed Wolfia arisa is consumed as Kai Nam in Burma, Laos and Northern Thailand which is regarded as poor people's food. Health hazards for duckweed may include the presence of heavy metals, phenols, pesticides, dioxins and pathogens. Crayfish fed with cadmium containing duckweed were found to be contaminated with cadmium. The uptake of any metal depends on the chemical form of that metal and the life form of the macrophytes invertebrates. Next is the description on rapeseed. Rapeseed Brassica napus has bright yellow flowers and is a member of the Brassicaceae. It contains 2% erucic acid and 30 micromole per gram glucosinolate in the air dried oil free meal. Rapeseed or canola proteins were used as feed ingredient for a long time for poultry, pig, cattle and fish. Rapeseeds contain several ANFs such as erucic acid, phytic acid, phenolics mainly cinapine and tannins, glucosinolates and a high fiber content such as flaxseed. Students, to conclude about this novel protein foods, we know that one of the macromolecules, the proteins are very essential for the growth of different age groups of human population and also for the animals and any living organism apart from carbohydrates and lipids. And we see that there is a great demand for proteinaceous foods in the world for to meet the need for the entire global population. So an alternative was formulated that is novel protein foods that is from the protein sources of the insects, duckweed, rapeseed, algae, microalgae and like uh, living organisms but it is not still clear about the legislatures and the laws to use these as uh, edible items for human consumption because there are many side effects possible uh, like the allergens they serve as allergens and also they cause many other side effects and people are not very 
popularized uh, in these use of such novel protein foods so they have started using them for their pet animals and it has been successful in some countries and in some countries it is in the pipeline so we have to see to the advances and many more research findings in order to supplement the common proteins available by replacing such novel protein feeds thank you